Alright, so uh, here's an update video on my uh, GI reenacting gear. Uh, some stuff has changed and some stuff has been added, but, um, but yeah, so we're going to start off with the gear. Um, here's my um, original 1942 dated uh, field gear. Uh, the cartridge belt's original, dated uh, 1942, and it has uh, some kind of writing right there. Uh, first aid pouch, in 1942. Uh, U.S. canteen with a uh, 43 dated canteen, cupping uh, canteen. Both dated uh, 42. This one has a steel top and it's dated 42 on the back. Um, the only thing that's not dated 42 is uh, the uh, shovel and the uh, shovel cover. The mess uh, kit in here is dated 42 and uh, has a utensil as well. Uh, the header sack is very faded, but it is dated 42. And then I have a bayonet on the side and everything, so it works. So yeah, that's the uh, field gear and everything, and then inside I would usually have a um, wool blanket, extra uniform or whatever, and uh, a field, I have a field ration over here, uh, lucky strikes, and then uh, I'm still working on getting some more personal items, so that's to come later on. Uh, I'd also carry a uh, late, kind of a late war gas mask bag, and inside I just have um, just a poncho. So yeah, uh, over here I have a uh, pop tent. Um, nothing much to say about that. Just pop tent. Um, you know, leggings. They are these are unissued. Rough outs from at the front, socks. Alright, uh, helmet. Okay, so uh, I got into the uh, 36th uh, ID reenacting unit here in uh, Texas and everything. Um, kind of not in, I mean, not really in the reenacting I'm just going to show up when I want to, really, because uh, I don't really do GI reenacting that much. It's mainly. Uh, uh, Pacific reenacting, but so I just made um, an impression based off of based off of them. So yeah, here's uh, one side, the decal, NCO stripe on the back, um, serial number on the chin strap, other decal, and the front. But yeah, uh, this is all made by a uh, well. I sent the uh, helmet and the liner. To uh, J Murray or not J Murray Drop Zone helmets, and um, he did all of this, painted the decals, and weathered the net to where it looked uh, combat worn. Everything, even the chin straps look a little dirty. But yeah, then on the inside, I had him paint. Uh, remember the Alamo. Then on the webbing, I got him to. Uh, stencil the serial number on the webbing as well it's on a uh, fixed bell with a I think it's a uh, inland liner so yeah but yeah so uh, probably my favorite helmet so far that I had him yeah Is the other one? Yeah, I love it. No complaints at all. Then um, I also had him stencil on my jacket, uh, Houston, Texas, USA, and I had uh, had him weather it. Um, Cause I mean, it, the all the ETO reenactments that I do, it's usually you know we've been there for a while, so made it look kind of dirty. And the front is uh. Yeah, you know, just as dirty and everything, so. But yeah, I really like how it has Houston, Texas, USA on it, so yeah.
Um, other uniform I have a green undershirt, uh, wool pants, and then a wool uh, undershirt. So yeah, um, I still need to get the 36 ID patch for the jacket and maybe for the wool set, but I don't know. And um, what else? Um, I think it's about it. Yeah, just more personal items. Um, oh yeah, and I have the uh, trouser belt in there. It's just with the Pacific stuff. Um, so yeah, this is an update on on my uh, GI GI reenacting stuff. So um, so if you liked it, uh, I'll be making more videos about the uh, Pacific reenacting. Uh, impression and um, all my original USMC so yep